Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on tetracycline. This video will cover all the ins and outs, how to use it, what are its side effects and what are important things to know about its safety and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewers, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this video and this entire YouTube channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And when looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. As mentioned, the generic name of the medication is tetracycline, but it's sold under several brand names like Alatet, Brodspec, and Panmacin. And it's available as a capsule, oral suspension, drops, ointment, or cream. Which brings us to how to use it. If you want to use tetracycline as a capsule, then make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. Do not break the tablet and do not chew on it, as this can decrease its effectivity. Furthermore, it's also advised to take the capsule on an empty stomach. This will increase its effectivity. If you want to use it as an oral suspension, then first shake the bottle, then take the syringe or measuring spoon included in the package and measure the right dose. Tetracycline as an oral suspension is mostly used to treat sores in the mouth. Therefore, hold the right dosage of liquid in your mouth for five minutes and then spit it out. Do not swallow the oral suspension. If you want to use it as a cream or an ointment, first wash your hands and then wash the infected part of your skin. You can do so by disinfecting shampoo or soap. If needed, remove crusts by soaking them in baby oil and afterwards apply the ointment or the cream thinly. If needed, you can cover this area with a sterile bandage afterwards. Lastly, tetracycline in the form of drops can be used to treat several eye infections. If you want to use it, the first step is cleaning your hands. Remove any crust around your eyelids and go stand before a mirror. Gently pull down your lower eyelid, bend your head backwards, place the tube above your lower eyelid and squeeze it so the drops will fall into your lower eyelid. Lastly, blink a few times. Therefore, it can be used to treat infections by microorganisms sensitive to tetracycline, such as infections of the respiratory tract, like a pneumonia, infections of someone's urogenital tract, like an STD or a urinary tract infection, infections of the skin, like acne, gastrointestinal infections, and eye infections. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with certain guidelines, as your specific dose depends on many factors, like your indication of use, the severity of your side effects, the severity of your symptoms, and the brand of tetracycline you're taking, and much, much more. Therefore, always use the precise amount and frequency your doctor prescribed you. However, when treating mouse infections, your doctor will prescribe a capsule of tetracycline of 250 milligrams four times a day. If needed, the dose can be increased up to a maximum of two grams per day. For eye infections, your doctor might prescribe a dose of six drops a day dripped into your lower eyelids. This dose can be increased up to one drop every hour. For skin infections, your doctor might prescribe you to apply a thin layer of ointment or cream to the affected skin two to three times per day. Now, tetracycline is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can have some serious side effects as well. I will list the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Now, tetracycline might cause skin reactions, a rash, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, inflammation of your stomach, itching, liver damage, abnormalities in your blood values, a burning sensation of your eyes, irritation, and pain. Which brings us to the safety of use. And here I want to mention that you can combine tetracycline with alcohol and it is safe to drive when using this drug. However, it is important that you do not consume milk or milk products, such as cheese or yogurt, for at least two hours before to one hour after taking tetracycline as a capsule, as the lime in these products decreases the effectivity of tetracycline. Furthermore, tetracycline can have an interaction with the other drugs you're taking, therefore always discuss this with your personal doctor. 
Now, as you might know, we are ending these videos off by taking a look at the safety of tetracycline while pregnant or while breastfeeding. And here it is important to mention that it can be dangerous for you and your unborn baby during pregnancy. Therefore, it's often strongly discouraged that you use it, especially in the form of capsules. However, when breastfeeding, tetracycline can often be used safely for a short period, a period less than three weeks. Do avoid prolonged use though. In a rule of thumb, if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding, always discuss the usage of tetracycline with your doctor. Which brings us to the end of this video. I hope you know now how to use tetracycline, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of your questions. For those of you interested, I also placed the playlist in the description with more awesome medical videos, so check that out because educated people make healthier decisions and this video playlist can help you to make these healthier decisions. Furthermore, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, this will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you and you can also help me to reach my subscriber milestone of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all, especially thanks to my Patreon supporters, thank you Sebastian, and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.